Welcome. Today we're going to go over submitting a round four statewide parks program online application. We'll be starting from the statewide parks program webpage. Here you will see the link. Click here to submit. We're going to click this button. We are now on the Office of Grants and Local Services online application platform homepage. Here you will click submit round four application blue button, which turns red. You will see some technical assistance that will also be at the top of the application if needed for future reference. At the bottom of the page, you will see two options. If you have an existing account with Submittable, you can log in by clicking the button on the right. If you do not have an existing account with Submittable, you will click the blue button that says create your account. We'll be clicking this button to create an account. Now you will enter your email address, password, confirm a password, first name and last name. We'll click the sign up button. There's two options to personalize your account and stay in touch with submittable products. We recommend not selecting either of the boxes and clicking the continue button. Congratulations, you have now created your account and now are able to start working on your round four application. At the top of the page, there is some technical assistance for submitting an online application. There are links to the application guide found here. There's also a link to the technical assistance documents. And as a reminder, the competitive chart and lessons learned from round three are especially useful tools to help you prepare the application. And then we've got a few notes down here. Your application will auto save every few seconds, so you don't need to worry about losing your work. You can also manually save by clicking the saved draft button at the end of this application system. You can invite other team members to collaborate on online applications. We've got a little link here with more information about that. Also, red asterisks are required fields. As you can look down here, there is an asterisk. Uh, you can see that with our first entry as a required field. And also at the bottom of the page next to the save draft button, there is a submit round four application blue button that's found at the end of the system. Only click that button when you're ready to submit your final application. And as a note, Office of Grants and Local Services cannot see or review the application in this system until the applicant clicks the Submit Round 4 application button. And before we continue on, we'd like to bring your attention back to how you can invite other team members to collaborate on the application. This is a really exciting tool. Uh, we'll be clicking this button in the upper right that says Invite Collaborators. And you've got a little box here where you can enter email addresses. Um, you would add team member email addresses below to collaborate with each other in real time. Team members will receive a link and have access to the form until you complete your submission. As the owner, only you will be able to submit the application. And so here we are. We're going to kind of go through the application here and bring your attention to some other items. As we get down here to checklist number two, project selection criteria, we're at project selection criteria one. And I wanted to bring your system. We do have some technical assistance here for each specific criteria. So for this example, we're in project selection criteria one. If we were to click on community fact finder here, this brings us directly to the community fact finder. Also, there is scoring rubrics found for each criterion, we have a scoring rubric. So here's the one which is located on page 15 of the application guide. If we click on this link, it'll take us specifically to page 15 of the application guide for this exact scoring rubric for the criterion which you would be filling out. Also, there's additional technical assistance under each criterion where that technical assistance is located in the back of the application guide. For this criterion, that's page 57 of the application guide. And so if you were to click on that link, it'll take you directly to that page, page 57 of the application guide, and you can see that technical assistance that we have provided.
Now we're going to continue on through the application. There are in this application some areas where there are tables. Uh, if the table is too small for you to enter your information, you can click the expansion button, which is located up here. And you click on that button and the table will expand. OK, and you can just click X and then I'll go back to the normal size. And then as we continue on further down here, uh, again, we do want to show you that there is this technical assistance specifically for this criterion. We are at uh, criteria 4C, goal one, selection of recreation features. We do have examples of this park design goal one. If you were to click on this, it'll take you directly to the technical assistance that we have for that criterion and all criterion throughout this application. And as you see, there is more criterion to fill out here. And you see this point, we have now reached the end of the project selection criteria. The remaining portions of the application are checklist items 3 through 15. As a note, if checklist items 1 and 3 through 15 are not complete by March 12, 2021, upload a document that describes the current status, next steps, an estimated month that the item will be completed. Also, please use page 11 of the application guide as a reference for the remaining checklist items. Additionally, the lessons learned from round three tools should be used to help ensure completion of all items. As another example, here we are at checklist number four, authorizing resolution. As noted previously above, if this item is not completed by March 12th, 2021, upload a document that describes the current status, next steps, and estimated, estimated month this will be completed. And as we scroll through here, we have now reached the end of the application. As we talked about previously, there is the hard save draft button down here. You can click on that button at any point. It'll do a little spin around thing here and tell you that it was last saved a few seconds ago. Here's also the submit round four application button. Please only click the sum submit button below when you're ready to submit your application package. Again, use the lessons learned from round three tool to help ensure all items were completed properly. And if you have any questions, you can email your competitive review project officer for your county. Here is a link to that right here. We do want to thank you for particip participation in the statewide park program, and thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.